Speaking of relatively low visibility right about mm -hmm. now, right? That's yeah, kind of misty, great. gross day. Cloudy skies for sure. And in areas, the visibility is down. We are still seeing some of that light rain and mist. So Get it I, out of here, please. I know. I was going to think we saw the video of all those kids. All the playgrounds probably right. pretty uh, empty, empty today. No. Kids inside trying to figure out what to do with their spring day. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar over Rhode Island into southeastern Massachusetts. We are still finding some sprinkles and light rain in spots, especially as you head further to the east. East. Still misty over much of Massachusetts, at least eastern Massachusetts, up uh, portions of 195. Well, in Rhode Island, it's just a little more spotty. Lots of clouds and the occasional uh, sprinkle or mist. But city cam showing you know, decent visibility here in Providence. 60 degrees, the uh, temperature right now with calm winds, humidity. 83 percent. 58 in Cumberland right now. And the normal high is in the mid and even upper 70s. We're far from that today. The Coast Guard House, 60 degrees, 61. West Bay Manor in Warwick. Robert in Fall River says cold and raw. Jim in North Smithfield, 55. Overcast, he describes it as muggy with a high humidity. And Kelly in Westport says drizzle at her house and still damp at 61. So the culprit here is an area of low pressure. You can see where all the clouds remain over much of eastern New England. Breaking up a little bit in Connecticut and the best chance of seeing a little bit of the sky's lightning would be in our far western suburbs. Places like Westerly and Coventry, you may see a little peak of the sunshine. But also watch a few showers that are firing up again through New York State. As this low pushes to the east, we could see an additional shower around here later on this evening. For this afternoon, mostly just a sprinkle, 59 to 63 for those temperatures. Future cast starting at 2 o'clock this afternoon. We'll take you through the rest of the afternoon, showing where those showers again try to redevelop during the early evening hours. 1130 at night, most of it's wrapped up and skies just remain mainly cloudy for much of the night. Tomorrow morning, clouds should give way to partly to even mostly sunny skies and spots. So we do see some improvements for your Friday as it brightens up and it won't be nearly as cool. For this afternoon, cloudy, cool, and again, you might need an umbrella on occasion. About 60 to 62 for temperatures now, not climbing much without the help of sun. 63 in downtown Providence, 62 on the east side, north Providence in the lower 60s. A tee of green, overall not bad travel weather. Warwick at 62, Barrington at 61, northeast winds driving in that cool, damp ocean air. And the milder temperatures, the further west that you are. So westerly at about 66, maybe a little sun out here. 64 in Coventry, northern Rhode Island in the upper 50s to lower 60s, chilly and raw. In southeastern Massachusetts, closer to 60 in Chatham, about 61 Plymouth and lower 60s in New Bedford and Fall River. So I threw in the beach forecast. Obviously not a great beach day, just damp and cloudy, 58 to 62 with a water temperature of about 61. A Shower possible through the early part of tonight. After midnight, things should dry, down, dry out, but I expect us to stay mostly cloudy, a low of about 52. Friday, nice to see some sun mixing with the clouds. Not as cool. High temperatures will be pushing 70 degrees on average for a high. And we'll warm up again on Saturday. A shower thunderstorm around. I actually just got an email from one of our viewers that he's got a birthday party on Saturday. He wants to know if it's going to rain. Well, right now I'm leaning towards any showers or thunderstorms more towards, say, the evening and nighttime. But it's been really tough to kind of iron out the timing of these showers and storms for this upcoming weekend. I feel more confident that we'll see at least some passing showers and thunderstorms on Sunday. 70 for a high on Sunday, and then early next week looks pretty nice. You can get your updated forecast live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar 24 hours a day on the Eyewitness News pinpoint weather station on Cox Digital Cable Channel 125. So my advice would be check back in. Little League game 530? Yes or no? I think they'll play. I think yeah. they'll be able to play. Toughen those kids up, right? Yeah, exactly. Get them out there. Get out there. Run around. <laughs> right. Thanks, Michelle.